Hello my friends, welcome to 2018. I hope you've got your Bitcoins. Many things have happened in the world of Black America. Many things have changed in the past 12 months. Chiefly among them, the Black unemployment rate has now gone below 7% for the first time in American history, or at least the first time since records were kept. Not a lot of people know this, but there was a time in American history where a black man was less likely, I repeat, less likely than a white man to be unemployed. My mistake growing up was that I thought that the things, that the way things were in the 90s were how they would always be, and that nothing would change that fact. So that's great news, but what does it all mean? And more importantly, how do we capitalize on it? Well, to answer the first question, it means that we were wrong to assume that the floor of unemployment was 7%. Obviously, 0% is not the goal, but we were wrong to limit our possibilities. In places outside of Chicago, the black crime rate is going down. So there will be fewer convictions, fewer incarcerations, fewer criminal backgrounds to check, and fewer distractions. And the more jobs we get, the fewer the convictions there will be in the future. How do we capitalize? In order to gain wealth, we must become investors. A man who purchased $100 worth of Bitcoin back in 2010 will be worth $100 million today. There is nothing that can replace or supersede the power of compound interest. This is the lifeblood of, cap of capitalism. Truly, I am your, not your financial advisor, but I know from personal experience that it is hard to get ahead when everything you buy goes down in value the second that you touch it. I often tell the story of the first stock I ever bought. It was Google, the one company that I patronized the most. I purchased one share at $500 a few years ago. After a few months, the stock shot up to $560 per share. I had made my first profit in the stock market. But because I'm naturally greedy, I decided to sell the stock in order to purchase some extremely risky investments. Ultimately, I crashed and burned, and when I t looked at Google stock price this year, in 2018, it had ballooned to over $1,000 per share. If I had just stayed an investor and not been a speculator, I would have doubled my money in just a few years. So that's the only investment advice I can give. If you invest in something, make it something that you yourself find valuable. Don't invest only because it's popular. What do we need to do this year to have the greatest year of our lives as black Americans? We need to have accountability. We have to change our behavior. I say this for myself before anybody. I need to change. I, my life will only get better when I get better. Thank you and enjoy your 2018. Oh, and, and one more thing. <laughs> one more thing. In honor of the black unemployment rate reaching its lowest level on record, I shall be down on bendeth knee. You never thought you'd see me do that, but yeah, because of the, because of the, uh, uh, because of the momentous occasion brought about by many factors, black unemployment lowest re level in history, and it could get lower. Just imagine that. And so here I am on bendeth knee. Hi, <sighs> so have a nice day and